Hello, and today we are throwing it back, back, back to a simpler time, a more fun time, Christmas time. This is a very old set. This is when I first started actually recording my ranch matches. And I don't know why it's taking me so long to upload this. I remember I was waiting for something. I just can't... I remembered. I was in the middle of making like a million highlight videos, so I'm going to do this after. But then it slipped my mind. But anyway, this was ranch when I was first starting out with Ganyu. Not too green, but I hadn't really met proper competition. Then when I bumped into Frost, that's when I was like, oh, let me start recording these actually. And without further ado, here we go. No duck on the down 4 2 1. Very hard to duck. Nice, he's not ducking at the wall yet. I've not made him, so I'm starting to do lows. Nice, side step back for oh, weird switch. I was so surprised that low kick whiffed. I didn't expect it to whiff, but the real back, or should I call it pullback, made it whiff. And look at all the health I've lost because of that. Drops a combo though. Dick jab out of there. Dick jab is such a good move. Nice orbital. Nice orbital. <laughs> I'm so sure you didn't be ducking and then decided to orbital instead of duck. Either would have been launched. Let's go. Round one is already down. Round two, nice. The Thunder Club. That move tracks both sides. It's really good. But it's hard to make it like work for you. We don't use forward one plus two to re-wall splat at the wall. Yeah, this this was very early, Kandrio. You know? I didn't. I remember after this set in particular, I had to lab a lot of stuff on this stage. And yeah, forward one plus two isn't a good re-wall splat. Either way, big life deficit. No punish in the back two. One nice punish on the Kurosaku back four. Oh, I get a. A small shot of serotonin every time I hear that great, great punish. Anyway, I take that round. Let's go to round three. It's getting a bit more aggressive now. New strings. I haven't seen that yet until that day. Ganryu can. Ganryu and most other characters can option select the string with a punch barrier. But of course, Brian can choose not to finish it. But I don't think he recovers fast enough to launch it. Nice step. Oop, look at me go. <laughs> I'm way too excited about how I'm playing. And I was, I've kind of missed Ganyu to be honest. I haven't played him in a while. So I had to take a break from playing these high intensity characters that leave a salty taste in my mouth. I just take it back to my roots, my low tier roots. Not that he's not low tier. Brian's jab is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes under Brian's job. It's really unfortunate that they haven't changed that. I don't know why they did that. I feel like that's something they changed after. Nice what for one plus two. I think it's called like what's it called again? Nice block, wrong punish. It's called like Taiko Drum Club or something. The Japanese word for drum. No break on the generic. What's wrong with you? Sir, wake up. Ah. <laughs> I must have tried running and blocking there. There's no way I ran up and dubbed or did anything. Anyway, final round. Need to close this out. I want these promo points. I really do. I've been stuck in these ranks for too long. Nice bait on the parry. I need to do something silly. Big counter hit, but no back. One plus two. I remember during these days, I used to have those on points. But it's something you really have to keep in mind. It's so different. Like, it's a mechanic you will never experience anywhere else. Oh, no. We don't need to see that. Moving on to the next game. And he's on promo. I need to win this. Because if he goes further than this already, I'm not going to get any points after these matches. And I want those points, and I'm ready. Uh, not looking good already. I have to go for the combo video stuff, but he didn't time it. I don't know if he didn't time it well enough, or if the access wasn't deep enough. Or both. Because it should still work with that timing. Back is in a bad position. Back for that move is so silly. Don't get the max damage, doesn't matter. Closes it out anyway. I think back four has to be the silliest. The silliest mid in this game. Nice block. Look at that. <laughs> I'm surprised I blocked that. I'm surprised he did that. Usually, the first time someone does something crazy, it always hits me. So I'm surprised I blocked this. Nice punish on the down forward 3. I don't care about your plus frames, sir. Keep them to yourself. Let's go. No punish on the down forward 2. Down forward 2 is another very silly movement. <laughs> it's very silly, but it doesn't lead to as much damage as back 4. Anyway, they're both silly mids. Nice, 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 nice. I don't get much outside of the wall, but big wall bounce. I don't go for the floor break. doesn't matter. Still get a lot of damage without breaking the floor. In fact, breaking the floor... 
unless it converts your combo in a very advantageous way, you'd most likely just be doing the same damage. After all the floor break nerfs and wall splat nerfs, at this point you're basically just doing the same damage if you break the floor, unless you convert your combo into a higher route. I'm not trying to proper way to explain this. Hopefully there's an example in this set. No break on the 1 plus 2, does it break the floor? Oh no, my call, my call. Nice low parry. <laughs> but why? <laughs> what? Anyway, it worked. I don't know why I would think I would do a low there though. Even I didn't know I would do a low there. Doesn't matter, I'm in rage, but I'm two rounds up. Ooh, Thunderclap. I'm just gonna call it Thunderclap. This won't reach the wall, but it's gonna be real good. I get the reset. Look at me. No. Why did that whiff? Oh no, why did that whiff? Why did that whiff? Anyway, it doesn't matter. That that doesn't whiff. I don't know if I was late. Unfortunate. I should have done the full wall carry reset though. I would have ended the round that way. But it's very hard to do. And it's very finicky. Though I, I think against Bran it works all the time. Nice punish. Look at me. Look at me. Plus frames. I'm respecting the plus frames for once. You see, you, you always have to mix it up. Sometimes you respect the plus frames, sometimes you don't. Because so when they see you respecting them, then they'll be like, oh, then I'm just gonna bombard you with plus frames. And that's when you can't hit them with the magic four when you're at minus eight. <laughs> Ooh, what a feeling. Oh no. Oh no, you see? Like that, I had to disrespect the plus frames. Ah, just too slow. Oh my goodness, I could have taken that. I was just a bit too slow. And he gets the promo to what rank is he in now? Ryujin. What a powerful name. No punish on the debug one. Brian can forward 4 1 that very easily. He, he steps, so I got a plus 6 down the forward 4 3. Punished the 4 3. It's very risky to do so, especially since the last hit counted launches, but sometimes you have to take these kinds of risks. Just to make your opponent feel like, okay, I got a number on this guy, let me try something risky back, and then you punish them for taking a risk. It's just a constant mind game. He's not parrying the second hit of back 2 1. If your character has a punch parry, you should not be getting overwhelmed by Ganry's back 2 1. At this point, punch parry is its only weakness. But I guess it's just not something you're used to seeing, because how many times are you fighting Ganry? Another punish? Oof. Finally, I was doing max damage, but why did that? I must have. Taken too long to think about what to do, or I'll just blame Frost's connection. It's usually very finicky, and he knows it. Nice step on the one standing four. Oh boy, oh boy, this man's counter hits really sting. Am I dead? Almost dead. You see, even without breaking the floor, I think you'd have left me with that amount of health. So unless he converted the combo into something that's way more damage, like if he did multiple hits at the top and then just saved the unscaled hits for the bottom, it does more damage that way, because the scaling hasn't kicked in yet. Or if you do a combo that doesn't really suffer from scaling, for example, Ganryu's, uh, what do I call them, 100 hand slaps, that combo doesn't really get affected by scaling because every wall hit still does 1 damage anyway, there's no point it will ever do 0 damage. This clap, this clap is so good. Like honestly, it keeps this character afloat. Was twenty four, was twenty three. No, 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 Michael. Again, okay. I, I, I remember I loved this after. But yeah, we don't really all flutter that. It's most damage, yes, but the recovery is way too much. Way too much. Nice low parry. Will I reach the other side of the stage? No, Brand can do it. Oh, he messed up the back three. Good for me. Nice punish, but I'm airborne. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Ganon is always in such awkward situations for you to punish, which I love. Sometimes you'll have the right read and then somehow he is ass first feet towards and you're just like, oh, okay. Love that. Side step? I did side step, I back dashed. I need to close this out, close it out. Oh, wild rage drive. You save such stuff for when you really, really, really need it. And I took that match, okay. I'm back, I'm adjusted. It always takes me a while to adjust. Counter it again, but no back 1 plus 2. Doesn't matter. The jab, just jabbing, jabbing is really good. He's trying to parry again. I don't know what move he's trying to parry there. Down forward 1, maybe? I'm not really using it in that sense. I think there's another counter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. The plus frames are still good enough to just 
go with. You don't always have to get the knockdown because it's not like Ganryu benefits much from knockdowns anyway. Salt Appa. I don't know if that was intentional. It must have been. Once they start doing Salt Appa, I know that you're fearing me. Okay, I did it again, but... Yeah, I'm throwing away a lot of damage because I didn't love the proper rewarder combo. Because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and I wasn't sure why until after I went to check. Oh, thank goodness I didn't hit the wall. That wall bounce is really good. Nice. Panic move. Uh, is he dead? Damage increase? Oh no. Am I dead? I'm not dead, but I'm almost dead. He's been doing a lot of rages. I remember during this set in particular, Frost was playing very uncharacteristic of Frost. Lots of rages, lots of sneak edges. I don't know if it's the custom, but I was just like, Sir, who are you? What have you been drinking? It is too early in the morning for you to be behaving this way. So I had to adjust double. Because I've already fought Frost many times, but this new Frost, I was like, Ooh, who is she? It doesn't matter though. Adjusting is the name of Tekken. There's like 50 characters. You have to keep adjusting to everyone. And so far I'm doing good. So far I've done really good. I think after he got the rank, he was just like, ah, now I can kick back, I can relax. And I get that feeling. And on the opposite side, me, I'm just like, shit, language. It's like, okay, I can't be losing like this. I need to step it up a notch. Which I did. Nice with punish. He doesn't like doing Kurosako 4 3 4 after that combo. I don't know why. I know the recovery is a bit weird from the move, but Kurosako 4 3 has such a fat hitbox that it never drops anywhere. Let's go. Plus frame. Oh, he disrespected them. One thing I need to get used to is that dig jabs are plus 6 on block. I'm used to these quick lows being minus, like down 4s and stuff. So when I see a dick jab and I see that it has barely any hit animation, I forget it's plus 6 on block. Because I'm used to, I've taught myself to react to these quick lows and don't treat them as if they're plus. Unfortunately, dick jab has become one of them. He could have gone and rewards like that with the down back too. In a bad position. Oh boy, he's smothering me. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. He did finish, thank goodness. No parry on the low, minus 10. Ganyu doesn't have 10 frame jabs. So we talked about this. I ducked, I ducked. I was really running short of air there. Clutching at straws. I need to do a random sneak edge at some point as well. He stops. And I can parry that second hit. With no risk, if I know he's gonna finish it. Step. Ooh, nice. He messed up the 4 4 2. I ducked into a while stunning too, but because because there's no high active, Tekken is a very weird way of registering the crouches. If there's a high move active on top of you, it will register the crouch easier. But if there's no high move active on top of you, it won't register the crouch. It's very interesting. I wonder how they programmed that. Like your properties change. Will I break the floor? I've messed it up. Properties change if there's a move active on screen or not. It's it's super interesting, but <laughs> super inconveniencing as well. Nice step. Messed up the jet upper. Let's go, let's go. Nice punish. <laughs> Back when I used to be young and nimble. That one to one should not be safe. I don't know how it's safe. I really don't. But it shouldn't be safe. Shaheen's isn't safe. Most one to ones of that nature aren't safe. I can't think of any. You know, Bran is special, he needs it. Nice, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow, that wall saved my life. Unfortunate for him. He tried to loop the back fours, but. I know it's a sneak edge. <laughs> ah, this round is mine already. Because now I know I've tilted him. I better win this, now that I've said that. Plus six. When you catch someone stepping with forward forward three, it's plus. Nice side switch. And you start doing that more. I always forget, because with every character it's different. Always forget. Nice. Was it nice though? Well, it looks nice, but Core Circle Forward 1 is just a move you do anyway. Just like the way you just do th uh, Forward Forward 1 plus 2 or down Forward 2 with Ganyu. Oh boy. See these combos? You see, like there? <laughs> this man is crazy. <laughs> I don't think that was. Was that intentional? Or would you even need a sneak edge at the wall? Anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Frost, Frost, Frost. What a guy. What a guy. Fighting him is always quite interesting. 
he's actually become one of my most favorite uh, people to fight against. I feel like he really challenges me always. Like, there's no dull moment. There's no time where I can just like sit back and be like, "What was that combo?" Hey, Nicole. You just talked about not sitting back, and you're doing these things anyway. Things are looking good. He is happy with his rank pass conversion. He was really high up. That's not easy to convert. Very unreliable. I wanted that to break the floor. I didn't expect to get the max damage. That was my bad. Nice interrupt. Nice interrupt. Let's go. Big punish. Ooh. Punishing that move has been on my bucket list for who knows how long. Kota Saga 4 one. I've been trying to punish it a lot. And it's so hard. But at least with Ganryo, his punish is super easy. Like you don't have to care about pushback, you don't have to care about these things, you just know it's gonna work. Okay, okay, one more round. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. For some reason in this set, when he, when I did the thunderclap and I try and block, I would still get hit. I don't know why that would happen. In this feature at all. Yes, it does. Oh, I didn't finish it. I could have just finished it. Break the floor. Ooh, it's gonna be big damage. You see, I got a lot of unscaled hits at the top. My god! <laughs> uh, watching back your matches can be quite cringy. It's like, sir, come on. How do you drop the easy parts? Nice. I wanted the side switch, but he didn't break it anyway, so... Lucky me, and that's it. GG's to Frost. We're gonna be uploading more matches. This is fun. Cringy, but fun. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time, say hi to everyone, peace out.